This video is from a YouTube channel called Black Sun. And this uh, footage was uploaded to YouTube on uh, 15th March 2018. And actually, he's got another one which was taken on February 2018, which did not use any filters, but this one has filters. And the link for his channel will be in the uh, description box. Go and sus subscribe to him and uh, he's, he only has 48 subs at the moment. Video footage shows what people are now calling the Black Sun. I call it the Real Sun because this is what the Real Sun looks like. It's a black object a plasma like object and it is constantly swirling or rotating if you look at it very closely you can see that and it's doing this at a very fast rate and it's swirling rotating motion creates a vortex around it um, creating a void, if you if you will, uh, an, an energy field. That black object is not a sensor overload on the on the camera, because this guy proves it by using filters in this video. So when we look up at the sun, and see the the light. That light is essentially the this energy field. This energy field is lit up. It it is it generates the light. At around the four minute mark, he uses a black filter. Here it is, and you can clearly see the black object. That is not a sensor overload on the on the cam camera this proves that it is real and is the sun so when you look up the sun you see an image very similar to this so what you are seeing is this outline this is the energy field that it generates actual sun is a black spot right in the center of it. It's swirling, rotating, creating this energy field. Even if, even if you use a uh, sun filter, you'll see this outline. And this is the main reason that the angular size of the sun doesn't change throughout the day. The real sun is really really tiny. I would estimate that it is only about two to three miles in circumference. When the sun moves across the sky, it moves in a sine wave kind of function. And it goes up and down each day because of the fluctuation of the electromagnetic field. Our world is governed by the electromagnetic field. Thunder and lightning, aurora borealis and australis, and the uh, toroidal field proves this. This is also the main reason we get different temperatures each day. The temperature varies from day to day. No two days are the same anywhere on Earth. So, how hot is the sun? According to the website livescience.com, it's 
very, very, very hot. Very hot indeed. But let me just read you the first three paragraphs from this website. The sun, massive nuclear powered source of energy at the center of the solar system, generates the heat and light to sustain life on Earth. How hot is the sun? The answer is different for each part of the sun. Arranged in layers, the sun varies in temperature. It is hottest at its center and cooler in its outer layers until it strangely reheats at the fringes of the sun's atmosphere. At the sun's core, gravity, oh there's that word again, Gravity, motherfucker! Gravity! Causes intense pressure. And temperatures are up to 27... <laughs> 27 billion degrees in Fahrenheit. Or 15 million degrees Celsius. What kind of thermometer did they use to calculate that? Fuck's sake! This generates the nuclear fusion responsible for the star's energy. Right, okay. But back on Earth, in the real world, where is the hottest place ever recorded? According to uh, all the websites that you visit, the hottest place is Death Valley in California, USA and also there are other places such as uh, Kuwait, um, Libya, Timbuktu. Um, you can understand, you can accept this because during summer solstice, during the month of May, June, July, August, the, the sun is at the, the furthest north. Uh, it's directly of the Tropic of Cancer. So it makes sense that the sun would heat up these, these regions, these areas during the summer. So they say the, the hottest temperature ever recorded was um, 54 degrees Celsius, which is 129.2 degrees Fahrenheit. So, the sun is not that hot. I mean, I would say, they say that the, the thermosphere is 3000 degrees Celsius. So, I would say that's the, uh, the maximum uh, strength of the, of the sun. Because it is close and in our atmosphere plane. It's in the sky. The sun is not 93 million miles away. There is no evidence for that and nobody will ever prove that as a fact. So use logic, reasoning and common sense to explain our world. There is no need to use pseudoscience or science fiction to explain our reality. The Earth is a flat plain with hills, mountains and valleys and it is stationary.